earth never trampled, heaven and sword never rain. Amen. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring to us everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, interceding on our behalf, may by his likeness to ourselves bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that night? Yet, you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, We must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things. As is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. A responsorial song. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, he saves. Many are the troubled of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 Believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen, but still believe. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. 
The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. Today's first reading from Acts and the Gospel reading from John go hand in hand. In the first reading, the high priest challenges the apostles. We gave you strict orders not to, and yet you have filled Jerusalem with your words, bringing the blame for his death down on us. Peter's reply comes back as a challenge for the high priest in return. We must obey God and not man, the God of our fathers, mine and yours, sent Jesus and raised him up after you grabbed him and killed him. Peter's challenge then and now was to all the people, where do you stand? St. John in the gospel passage is basically saying the same thing. The one who comes from above is over everything. And the one who is from earth gives only earthly words. St. John's challenge is identical. Where do you stand? In our time, the news is full of people giving over to the things of this world, the things of earth. Who are we to trust? Who are we to follow? The fine line between good and evil has become broken. The gulf between truth and lies has become shallow. In this time of Easter, we are reminded of the truth that brings salvation to us all. We have once again received the risen Lord. Today, on this altar, we will once again share in the sacrifice that brings life to us all. Will we accept what Jesus came to give us? Or will we look to the things of earth? I challenge you today, where do you stand? May the peace of Christ be with you all. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. For the shepherds of our souls, that they may have the strength to govern wisely the flock entrusted to them by the Good Shepherd, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the whole world, that it may truly know the peace given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for our brothers and sisters who suffer, that their sorrow may be turned to gladness, which no one can take from them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our own community, that it may bear witness with great confidence to the resurrection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For all those in our community who are suffering, whether from physical, emotional, or mental illnesses, that they may be comforted by the resurrected Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. And for Pat Martin, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with.
prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the body and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Bless you, God, forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good law of the Holy Church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is surely right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud ye yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross and by commending himself to you for our salvation showed himself the priest the altar and the lamb of sacrifice therefore overcome with passable joy every land every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is he who You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he took willingly to his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Let not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace, the Lord, be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to share the time of my good, but I will say a word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth glorifying the Lord by your life. Thank you, God. Prayer to St. Michael. Our Holy Lord, Michael, the Archangel, defend Lord. us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And may you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust him to hell, save and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking to ruin his souls. Amen. The divine praises. Blessed be God. Blessed be his only name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of God. Blessed be the Holy Spirit in his soul. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary my soul. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be the glorious Son of Jesus. 